biggest possession of the year right here for both teams. Sorrentino is doubled. Bowen, a three. Yes! Taylor Bowen! Duncan in the air to left field. That ball's got some carry to it. Back at the wall, it's off the wall. And Sharon Duncan rounding second, heading for third. Freshly off the bench, Sharon Duncan with a triple. EKU takes a three-point lead, and the Colonels get a steal. Aliche Reconati, two on two. Eyes to the rim. Reconati with a sweet reverse. Athleticism on display for Reconati. Missile, left field, tagged, and goodbye, Ron Franklin. Stay hot, Ron Franklin. A three-run home run by the Colonels center fielder. Backdoor cut, Barry gives the Owls the lead. Timeout, Greg Todd and the Colonels. 3-2 to Laurel. Connor Davis waiting on deck. He left the yard last time he was up. Line drive up the middle, it goes off the second base bag. Carinci motoring around third with fuel to burn. He slides in safely, and Eastern Kentucky adds another run, makes it 5-2. Costner to Turner. Three on the way. Bullseye! Six in the fifth for the Colonels. And on the ground, that's going to find a hole. And chugging around third, Pistons pumping to the plate. And EKU slides in head first. And they have now doubled up Bellerman 10-5. Another base hit by the Colonels, this time the first by Connor Davis. And Connor Davis comes through. On a Saturday afternoon in the heart of the Commonwealth, Richmond, Kentucky is the site for a game that could have huge seating implications for the Atlantic Sun Tournament next month as Eastern Kentucky takes on Kennesaw State. With that, we welcome you inside Baptist Health Arena in Richmond, Kentucky for A-Sun Basketball on ESPN. So glad that you could join us here on ESPN+. Plus. Well, these two teams, EKU and Kennesaw State, Interplay today with identical records. They're six and four, so there's a lot at stake today. If two players to keep an eye on today, we begin with Kennesaw State. She's not been a princess, she's been a queen this year, and that's Princess Harden averaging a career best 15 points per game, including three straight over 20. She's also one of the A Suns best in rebounding despite being under six foot with eight per game. Meanwhile, on the other side, Conference Preseason Player of the Year, Antoinette Walker, one of the most electric scorers at the mid-major level, averaging 19 points per game this year. This is Atlantic Sun Softball on ESPN. Today from Gertrude Hood Field, it's Eastern Kentucky at 32 and five, pacing the Atlantic Sun, taking on in-state rival Louisville. The Cardinals five and 10 in the ACC, meet in Richmond tonight for a midweek game. Colonels and the Cardinals squaring off two historically rich programs right here in the heart of Central Kentucky. So glad that you could join us. My name is Wes Chandler. Coach, nobody outside your locker room believe you could do this. How did you do this? You know what? All we care about is people in the locker room. And so our guys were, they were relentless. They were united. And so I couldn't be more proud of those guys. What does this say about your team to come in here hostile environment and knock off the top seed. It's a certain level of toughness you gotta have. I'm so proud of these guys who wear that Jacksonville jersey, but I wanna say this, you know, EKU did an unbelievable job, and those guys, I wish we could have multiple teams go to the NCAA tournament. And the Colonels take the lead for the first time, 7-6. How does Bellerman respond? EKU gets a deflection here. And that'll send up Lucy Robertson for Bellerman as she'll check in for Cam Browning. Robertson brings size on the interior for the Knights, 6'3", senior. Hope Savori will inbound it. Now Savori sweeps across the lane. Harassed by Ivy Turner, nice move, up and under, missed the shot. Ball is loose and Claire Canis able to pick it back up. Now Mia Brown. Trying to cross over on McGinnis Taylor. She can go on the inside. Got a good frame, but Bellerman misses it with Kinnis. Three on three the other way. Now Turner will back it away. Now she'll pull the trick on a three, and it is short. Turner's with a quick shot there. 
in the half court. Bellerman trying to retake the lead. Mia Brown muscles inside and scores. Mia Brown just muscled her way in for two. 5'10 sophomore from Rockford, Illinois. Shows Bellerman over Northern Illinois and Indiana State. Said Bellerman has a, a chance to give her a new beginning and she's really taking huge strides in her sophomore year, doubling her scoring. And Jasmine McGinnis Taylor on the inside She's one of the best interior post oh, yeah. players in the A-Sun, and that's hard to guard herself. McGinnis Taylor did an outstanding job getting wide, sitting down, and being able to lay that little hook shot on her opponent. The Illinois State transfer averaging seven oh. per game. Nice cut from Claire Canise, and the reverse is good. That was a tough shot by Canise. Chance Dugan says she loves her motor, brings toughness and physicality to her program. And Bellerman retakes a one-point lead. Caitlin Costner, the Ohio State transfer, skips it up. Reconati, the lefty, unloads from three. Aliche Reconati for the three. Reconati averaging 10 points per game. That's a career best in a single season. Over 1,100 points in her college career. Mia Brown is harassed. Double team coming on her. Haley Harrison, first there good look. Haley Harrison able to knock down the three. 41 made threes for Harrison on the year. 